We're just getting some nature shots. Hi, Joe. What, tell the, uh, what's going on? Well, we're going to go do some fishing. Yep. Because that's what we came to do is do some fishing. Camp out overnight. Camp out overnight. we got steaks, potatoes, lots of Joe. We've got quite a bit of fog going on here. Just trying to get some nice nature shots, but you're, you're just, would you get? <laughs> Sweet little bass lake here. Nice campsite too, so. Kyle's last night in Canoodala. Joe, are you? Or is there going to be epic fishing today? There, well, you're here. So there might, we might catch a couple. Just a couple? Yeah, we'll catch them all the time here. So. Oh, okay. Hey folks, how are you doing? This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. You can explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. So this go around, I'm learning video for Instagram. The class is called Tell an Engaging Story in Less Than a Minute. I plan to use it for Instagram and my new TikTok account. The instructor's name is Halise Narvaez. She's super easy to listen to, easy to follow along with. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Whether you're a dabbler or a pro, a hobbyist or a master, you're creative. Discover what you can make with classes for every skill level. When you join, you can try one of Skillshare's live classes. Experiencing real-time inspiration as you connect with popular teachers while watching and working along with other members. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. Connect with the support of fellow creatives and enter a community of encouragement, communication, and inspiration. The first thousand subscribers of mine to click the link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. And you can start exploring your creativity today. So once again, click the link in the description below. Get a month free trial of Skillshare for the first thousand subscribers. Thank you very much to Skillshare for sponsoring another video. On to the big video, guys. Beautiful morning. Look how many spider webs are in this tree. Look, it's covered. Covered in webs. Oh no! Ah! Oh my god! Webs everywhere. Webs everywhere. It's raining webs. It's raining webs. Let the webs fall down. Man, it's really the time of year for spiders. It's not just in the trees. Check this out. Spider web. Web. All over the all over the ground. These ones look a little different. They're everywhere. sure somebody's just having a nightmare right now seeing all this but look at all these man this is crazy I've never seen so many spider webs in my life you can walk the trail first Kyle ah. <laughs> it's unbelievable the amount of spider webs in here man it looks like the forest is growing mold Would you say it's unbelievable unbelievable I think watching you getting out of this canoe is unbelievable. Why? It's just fun. Why is it... <laughs> you don't think I can get out? Hang on. I, I know you can get out. 
Yo, my butt's bigger than yours. Yes. Oh, watch this. This is gonna be good. What was so unbelievable about that? How unbelievably smooth that was? <laughs> like butter. Like butter. <laughs> There's a butter exit right there. Just straight velvet, bud. Exactly. Wanna go portage again? Let's do it. Into the thick of it. You know, it's been like a whole, like, I don't know, 12 hours. Like Indeed. Who needs a cup of coffee when he just walks straight up a hill, right? Uh huh. There she is, the beauty lake. Nice sight over there. You're a beauty could, lake, Joe. Thanks, we could stay at or go on to the next lake over there. Decide once we go over there and look. This this old potato is going to put on some sunscreen. I am. Woo! That was a good little uphill. No, no joke. Now we got to go get the canoes. Alright, so we've been trolling, well I've been trolling and casting actually for the whole length of the lake and I'm on my way back to see Kyle. And he is actually pretty close to the camp still, so I don't know if he's hooked on to a couple fish over there, if he's having a troubles or what, but I finally, finally got a hit. Oh, he jumped right out of the water. It's a nice bass. We're headed out into the other lake right now. <clears throat> Try to some fish in there because this lake has not been very productive for us. You got that sunscreen face going on. You like that? I love it. Awesome. Yeah, a decent one. Kind of proud of this guy. <laughs> Look at that might be my personal best. That's a big fish, man. Look at the size of this thing. That's ridiculous. He's been in his tent all day, comes out, throws three lures, and catches the fish. <laughs> He's pissed. Brown bass, I got a six ounce, like six gram bass. <laughs> it's bigger, it's not even bigger than your lure. How do I even take this guy off? He's so. <laughs> He's feisty. I'm gonna get stabbed by my four, three inch bass. <laughs> Kyle's got a fight on his hands over here. Oh, he's running. Nice, man. Oh, get your own. Of glove. of glove on over here. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's gonna lose his fish messing no, with his glove. What? Watch out. Oh, don't worry, man. You're good. Do your thing. Don't worry about me. Look. Really, Dan? I... <laughs> Holy smokes. Nice fish, Kyle. You're gonna lose that. Grab him. You're gonna lose him. He's barely on. I got, I got him. No, it's... it's barely on him. Lip him. I'm trying. The, the freaking glove sucks, Kyle. What are you doing? <laughs> I got him. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh, that's kind of stupid. <laughs> that's a nice size bass. Stupid glove. <laughs> Don't use the glove. I did like barely have it. I know you did. I wasn't lying. There we go, boys and girls. Nice. Nice fish, man. Looking good, right? Yeah, it's a very nice fish. <laughs> I can't get the glove. The glove sucks. I could see that. I'm going to try it again. Oh. That was about the biggest mouth you're going to get on a small mouth. I couldn't get my thumb in it. It's too fat. That's because about the biggest mouth you're going to get. It's a stupid product. <laughs> don't buy fish gloves, I guess. I, no. I, yeah. You don't need them, man. Of glove for fishing. Anyways, nice. Both on the board. This is, uh, we were in this lake for how long? Five minutes? Oh, not even. Yeah. And it's like, uh, four feet deep, maybe three right here. Do you think that that was the same fish? Yeah, I think it was. Cause I cast it right back to where he hit. Nice man. Oh, I got a whopper. I got a whopper on. Kyle's been cleaning up in this lake. I keep hearing him hooting and hollering from back there, but I haven't had any luck really, except for this hit here. I switched to, uh, uh, a jointed uh, perch looking wrap and I got this hit pretty quickly I had a lot of line up oh beauty beauty jumper wish you would step back from that ledge my friend holy smokes I got hammered Oh man. Spit at me. Spit at me, bass. Oh, he's smoky. I don't know, man. Every single one out of here seems like my personal bass. This is a big fish, regardless. Real big fish. Get him in the frame. Oh my goodness. Look at him. That's a big bass, man. That's a big bass, man. Hokey smoky. So, very good fishing action. Very good. Got another one on. He's not as big, I can tell. Man, I just switched to a little Meps Aglia, and I've been two for two on the cast. Not. Oh, this is a much bigger one, too, on the cast. You yeah, boy, Meps Aglia coming through in the clutch once again. Okay, cool. All my other ones have been, or my, my previous one had been from trolling, and it's, that's not half as fun. These guys, two for two on the on the cast with the Aglia. Cool. Come on back to me. Come on back to me, bud. Don't swim under that branch. You don't want to do, oh, he lost me on the branch. He lost me on the branch, this son of a bitch. Oh, my goodness. He got me snagged up and lost me fair play fair play to him smoky smoky i should have fixed my drag and fi okay i'm just playing around one more all right i got one to rival kyle's it's still bigger but pretty close <laughs> another bass all right that's enough i'm going to go try to find kyle See if he wants to go back to camp because I'm getting pretty hungry. We got big plans for supper. Uh, I did very well. You did very well. I, I think maybe about six. Uh, two of them were really big. Okay, I was at four. Two were really big. Nice. Like, like, you know, like these are a small. And uh, one was. I heard. It was like the, I I almost put it down. It was like the size <laughs> of the gunnels. I was like, oh my god, it, it, you got to see it on video, dude. It yeah. Was like, so I, lo I lost a couple too, but you yeah, know you know what? I put on this and I was slaying them off the cast. Really? Not just uh, trolling. I was I was two for two after I put that on. 
and then he the big one he freaking swam by a branch and he made the that get stuck to the branch and he lost it out of his lip i couldn't believe it i was like fair play <laughs> so i was going after this i had like a, like a nice like medium size one i'd be happy to get and I, i'm looking down and i'm seeing and i'm fighting it and there's one that's like twice yeah big blow and i'm like no no get off i want that one. see that's what i said man the, it, the it big the fish oh, chasing the, the oh. fish chasing the other fish are you happy we came to this lake? Yes, uh, that that little two hundred meter portage. At first, I was like, I'm tired. I want to come here. And then, no, this is awesome bass fishing. Man, and normally it's the other lake. I swear to God, it's Good. the other. Yeah, I spent five days on this. Didn't catch a fish on that island. Really? Yep. Wow. Yep. But anyway, super happy we came over here. Yeah, I mean, we it was in an hour. I've got three footballs. So. Yeah, football dinner plates even. They were huge. I know. They're all they were like. Huge. So either either that or what you said, like a normal like, like a normal one bass. or the micro. Yeah. Oh no, I got a micro as you well. Got a micro? It's like three oh, times yeah. still three times the size of that one you had, but that you, was <laughs> you took the cake on that personal best micro. That is uh PBM. I, I've never had one that is actually smaller than the lure itself. <laughs> All right, so what do you say we head back, cook get the fire going? Fish going uh, the on, fish on the way a little bit more. Fish on the way for yeah, sure. Yes, yes, yes. I thought you meant cook. A trolling food. is actually what I've been hitting most of them on. Uh, I got this as soon as I switched on to that. I was mm -hmm. hammering them. Oh, nice. No. You uh, still have the orange thing though? Uh, I switched to silver and black, but same wrap, same design. Same still good, yeah. Um, so, yeah, let's head back. We've got beer. Uh, Captain Morgan's back at, at camp. And we've got potatoes, onions, peppers, and steak. Mm, we should have put some garlic. Did we put. We didn't put garlic in it. We didn't buy garlic because I had it and then we never put it in. You also had mushrooms that we bought and we never put no, it in. No, no, no. We're not really... I did not have mushrooms that we bought. You had mushrooms that we bought and did not put in. <laughs> I don't know. I don't recollect that. Anyway. Who made? Okay. Let's go. Here we go. Good times though, eh? Great life. Great that, life. Very oh, happy. Let's see if I can catch one of this like, shallow area here. Camp's just up ahead. It's a little backlit, so I think it's hard to see there, but I see Kyle's tent and my tent all set up already. I gotta get a sweater on because I am chilly. Well, we are both very happy about the outcome of that little trip over into the other lake. So it's supper time now. We are hungry boys and uh, get that fire going. I got my uh, Elux uh, tent. I think it's called the Mega, Mega Horn or some, something silly like that. <laughs> Anyways, nice pyramid tent, and uh, Kyle's got his there in front, too. We've got a big grill, so we can fit our massive steaks on. We only had uh, one option, where to go and get steaks from, and they were massive. So we said, well, that's not the worst thing in the world. So we got those, some goodies to go with it. Kyle was a champ while I had a nap, and he... Got a lot of firewood done, so we'll go check that out. I am an American champion, a champion. Oh, you feel me? <laughs> Don't act like you didn't know. <laughs> I did. You said something about being a champion, so I had to... Uh, he's just freaking Kyle's ear-to-ear ear, ear ear grin now after that comment. <laughs> Look at this lake, man. What a beautiful spot. Some of your audience finds me annoying, though. Yeah, some of yours finds me annoying, I'm sure. <laughs> we got the uh, the old plum axe. It was, I actually really like this axe. Usually I don't, I like the, like, the, um, not the round, more like the square. But I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, the, the face of the blade. Yes. Yeah, me too. More of a grand like, for straight. Yeah, this is more like an American style. It is. But it actually works really well. I like it because some of them are like really like fanned out and this is straight like this. So you can actually... And the handle though. What about that handle, man? I like this handle a lot. So nice. It's cool. It's got... This contour is really good. Yeah. Yep. It's an awesome axe. Yeah. It's good. It is good. It's a good axe. This blew up a lot of firewood. Oh, yes. You did. You did. Look at you. I tried. I really did, Joe. You did a good job. I approve of this. Um, I'm going to move these rocks up to the flatter area. What's that? Can I use the axe now? You can. Cool. So we're going to take big sticks and make them into small sticks. 
It was a good in, film. That, in case you've never seen this before. In case you haven't seen this, us doing this for over 10 years. <laughs> done this a couple of times, Joe. Just a few. Just a few. Well, why don't we tell the people why we're doing this? Uh, to, because you can't take, I don't know, you need There's small no birch bark. bark. Well, there's no birch bark, that's too. I was going to say you need small sticks in order to start a fire. We only have big sticks. Bam! Curls! And where did we learn this? Tara Barney. <laughs> He's a good egg. He is. He's a peach. YouTube channel. I would. I a woodsman. Check him out. Good guy. This feels so nostalgic right now. It, well, <laughs> no. Saying all these things and doing this. What would be nostalgic is if this was green wood. It was <laughs> raining and we were trying to start a fire after having a little too much Jerry. <laughs> Oh man, remember he gave us the business too, boys. Yeah. What are you doing? Boys, sharp knives, rain, <laughs> alcohol, don't mix it. Yeah. That's back when we were young and dumb many years ago. Well, yeah, we're not that at all anymore. We're not young anymore. Well, that's for sure. What a good guy, though. Well, eh? go. Yeah, oh yeah. Me and Kyle met on one of his classes in Ohio. He used to have a class called the Midwest School of Bushcraft. Yeah, we are getting older because I make that noise now <laughs> when I sit down. Yeah, I hear that. It's involuntary, too. Like, it just happens. <laughs> it just happens, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. All right, let's be smart about this. Oh, this is not as good as the stick I had earlier, to be honest. I've got my Charlie Gasconade out with me for the first time in a long time. Actually, let me show you this. Uh, One Tree Leather made me up a brand new tight-fitting sheath for it. So it's, it's in there real good, which before I've not had that uh, for this knife. So happy about that. Thanks, buddy. He's a super awesome dude. Makes really, really, really good leather. Check him out. One tree leather. One tree leather. You like it so much you haven't even chopped through one of his sheets yet, have you? That's right. Wow. Keep them keep em pristine. Does, does your channel know that story? Um, I actually told that story to the other day. I can't remember the date, but... Why don't, why don't you tell them the story real quick? Well, we went to some meetup from the internet forum people, and um, someone had, like... Kenny. Kenny. It was Kenny. Redid an axe, did it up real nice for Joe. It looked really good, and um, made a sheath, real nice leather, all good. Joe was really appreciative. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then, like, within three minutes, he goes to start splitting wood, and fails to take the a axe mask, which is hard to say, T fails to take it off, chops right through it, and you could just see Kenny's face just like, just fade, like, what? I you felt like really it? bad about Yeah, that. you should have. <laughs> Poor dude, I mean, I, I've made those before, they take like a while. In my defense, I am Joe. Yeah. So. And it's, you know, it, it's made a constant stream of hilarious jokes from now Well, I think, it's, I think it was probably worth it then. All right, fire. Let's make this. I'm starving. Yeah. Can you do it? Hopefully. Well, if I can't, we got a problem. I, I need some steak. I'm hungry. Big I'll, hungry. I'll be big hungry. Don't one stick it, Joe. Don't one stick it. <laughs> They've definitely heard that before. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. Ta da! You spied. Like we've done this a thousand times. Look, look, look out to the water. Cool. We did it. We did canoeing stuff. Yeah, we did picture stuff, filming stuff, canoeing stuff, fire stuff. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Stuff stuff. What stuff what? Well, you want to do uh, in the Mitachem? Mitachem? Yes, ma'am. Give me a dance, big boy. <laughs> All right. We, uh, we realized we need a little bit more wood. And while Kyle 
did the gentlemanly deed of collecting the wood earlier. I'll do that now. He went into the woods and got some red pine. I'm inclined to go to the shore and get some cedar or spruce. So I got my silky with me and uh, we'll do that. We'll throw some wood in the back of the old prospector. And there we go. I got wood. Good Joe. I got the fire rip roaring for us. You can see, it looks awesome from the water, man. It looks cool. because it's a rip roar we gotta wait for it to die down but we're super hungry so any little uh, bonus time we can get no. oh, well. we're gonna try to make these uh, cook quicker than than they would if they weren't sitting there that sounds dumb too ambiance light ambiance all right Kyle with the ambiance lighting we gotta check out these bad boys their thought so that's good everybody always asks me how do you do this what doesn't it go bad? You gotta, you gotta freeze them the night before, or however long before, and then take them out the morning of and eat them the first day. Yep. That's the ticket. Nice and easy. Those are big. Those are some big boys. That's a lot of steak. It's a lot of steak. If I was at home, I would have half of one of those. Well, you're outside. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. In Canada. I'm very hungry. You gotta get that mad cow while you get, while you oh, can. All right. <laughs> what, what, are you, what are you throwing on there? Right this now? is the keg spice. You don't. You guys don't have a keg in, in the states. We have kegs. We don't have keg spice though. You have the keg restaurant? Never heard of it. Okay. What do you mean you have kegs? Like you drink beer out of. Oh it. my. So in Canada, there's a chain. It's like a higher end chain, if you want I to call it. I think you actually that. took me there once. Yeah, definitely. Did we go there that one time in that one place? Yep. Okay. Thunder Bay. That was it. That's yeah. where we met and had lunch, right? It, it, before our Woodland Caribou. I think so, yeah. 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 But so anyways, uh, it's like the higher end chain, I guess. People think it's fancy, it's not really that fancy. But it's good. They got and they have their own cake spice, so and you buy it. It's like Montreal steak spice. That's just nobody's getting around that. That's just basically what it is. And everybody always asks me about the Bam Sun spice. That's that's just gone. I haven't had anything to do with that in a long time. I don't even really talk to people who make it anymore. I don't think they make it, so Sorry guys, that's the story there. Is does massaging the meat like you're doing right now? Does that help? And then sometimes they'll. Is, it, is that like, you know, I know they do that with the Kobe beef, like yeah. cows. Oh. No, we won't put that on. Yeah, man. I don't know. I'm just trying to push this the, the season again. I'm just making... Can't quite figure out the angle on it. There we go. This is a nice handle. This is like one of my. This is one of my favorite handles. I think. It's probably my favorite knife ever. Much prefer knife over. Okay, let me compare that. Let me, let me switch it up to the. What one is that? Palm is in? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. So I don't know what it is, but oh, I can. Mine, mine is not sharp at all. It hasn't been sharpened in uh, three years. You got your DC4. Sharpen her up, bad. I don't know. You have a steel? Do you? I didn't bring one with me now. I might, I don't know. Yeah, yours is just duller. Your handle is way better, though. I do like this handle. This is just nice sharpness before I left. <laughs> just a field of freaking <laughs> like little sticks. poppies. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we got those in the coals. We moved the coals around. Potatoes are getting cooked. You can hear the, the butter. Uh, oh, oh man. Yeah. Look at that. Boom. That's a good light right there. <laughs> the 
all. <laughs> all right, we're done. Uh, everything's done. Time to eat. Boy, that was some excellent narration there, Joe. <laughs> I like that. All right. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit of crispy bits, too. Perfect. with we got steak a bunch of potatoes peppers onions time to chow down and a genie oh are you just meat cooking it oh man meat cooking for the way is so good mm. it's really really good better than the other one we had the other day Meat cookies. Mmm, that's good. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mad cow is so much better. <laughs> mm. Yep. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. We basically re regressed the caveman. Didn't take long. It wasn't many steps back. No one. 17 North from Sault Ste. Marie. This is their pale ale. It's a beer and a beer. What? It's French. It's French on it. Oh, yeah, it's because we're in Canada. Here, cheers, buddy. Ah, good trip, man. Yeah, you too. Good visit. Very good. First beer in a long time. Mmm. Mmm, hoppy. I love it. It's still somewhat cool. Mm -hmm. Good. Nice. Very good. Good times, man. I'm so glad you're here. This literally says, proudly brewed in the Sioux. Uh -huh. okay. Much needed. Yep. Well, let's try these potatoes. Mm. The amount of butter I put on them, they can't taste bad. Oh, they're really good. Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, potato. Woo! Potato. -y. Mm hmm. These, uh, these camping trips rain, snow, fires. Good times. Frog shedding lip skin. Oh god, don't even start with me. No, this is fun. I'm glad I'm super glad we uh, we had some good fishing. We had the got the the biggest rainbow I've ever gotten, the biggest bass I've ever gotten today. Um, that was cool. It was yeah, definitely it's definitely been a, a cool trip. Different than normal. It's not the you know, like seven days of slogging and all day and we've kinda had some breaks here and there, but like it's been it's been fun. Yeah, it's been fun. We and we had our fair share of portaging too. Yes, the portages were not easy. Um, we had quite a bit of rain. We had really annoying rain. Instead of just like <laughs> raining the whole time, it was like giving you. It kept giving me a glimmer of hope every 20 minutes that it was going to stop, and then it never actually stopped. Annoying rocks for you too. So many slippy rocks. <laughs> Like, why are all of the rocks in Canada slippy? <laughs> they all have that brown, like, pond scum slime to them, and it causes me to fall into the water all the time. It's funny. I just skirt on. You well, know, the one thing I... It must I be something you're born with if you're in Canada, I think. Uh, rock you know, skipping abilities. Uh, you're very good at it. You're like a little nimble person. You know, it's, it's funny is, uh, I can't remember who we ran into once, but they're like, uh, they're talking about the you getting in and out of the pack boat. And you're like, everyone's like, oh, Joe makes it look really easy. And then I, I have a hard time getting in and out of it. Who was that? Oh, it was the Avid Outdoors guy. Was that oh, guy. maybe, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have a hard time getting out of that thing because it's so low to the ground. But, um, yeah, the rocks are slippy, I'll tell you what. <laughs> you know, one thing we missed this trip is we didn't do a single portage where it was just through, like, a river creek system and it was nothing but, like, waist-deep mud the whole time. We missed doing that. Well... Next time. Next time. We gotta make make sure next time we include a waist deep mud portage. I mean like alright. <laughs> <laughs> you you like it, don't lie to me. <laughs> yes. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're memorable. They're memorable. This way this those are the portages you remember, for sure. <laughs> ah. 
Yeah, these, uh, the red pine burns down to nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no good coals. We burnt a lot, there's nothing left. That's true. Nothing. Very observant call. Hey, you know what? I'm not good for nothing, I'm good for being observant. Mm -hmm. Looks <laughs> Great dank wet wood here. Well, what do you think, Kyle? Time to go to bed or what? I'm gonna drink some water, hydrate, then we're gonna go to bed. Yeah. All right. Enjoyable day. It was. Highly enjoyable. Did you enjoy yourself? I very much did. I also enjoyed my nap. Your nap. Your steak. My steak. Your bass. My beer. Bass. bass wow. Bass. Fishing, there we go. Mm -hmm. My Kyle time. <laughs> it's good times, isn't it? <laughs> All the Kyle time is good time. There's a lot of Kyle time this trip. <laughs> Kyle's over there peeing on the fire. I walked through the frickin' piece on a steam dank. Ugh. Dad, what? Why does it smell so bad? I told you it was gonna... Frickin' urine. Bad oh my god. Somehow you made it worse. Well, good night there, Kyle. Good night, bye. Good night, <laughs> what? Check, remember to check for toads in your bed. Dude, that was the worst. <laughs> like, honestly, Kyle got all spooked. He's like, there's a frog in my bed. It's huge. Is that a frog? Bull, big old American toad. Bufo, bufo. All right, well, it might rain tonight. He was calling for it, but who knows? I'm going to shut the old door anyway and uh, go to bed. Good night, folks. See you in the morning. I can't leave my camera outside. <laughs> oh yeah, and all sorts of gear. I just had to finish the scene. It's all about the scene being finished. Oh my god, Kyle. Oh my god, come here, look. Come look. <laughs> You're never gonna guess. You're never gonna believe it. giant toad? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's right there. That's what happened to me. That that happened to me, dude. If that gets in your tent and jumps on your head, it will freak you out. I guarantee it. 100%. Bufo, bufo. Oh, that's hilarious, that's dude. Too funny that you were just making fun of me about that, and then it happened to you. Well, I wasn't scared by it. Like, didn't scream like a child either. Okay, well, you didn't lay down next to it and then have it jump on you, did you? No, and I it wouldn't have screamed. Bufo. Hey, asshole, get that thing out of here. You don't want it in my like, Get that out of there. Damn, it peed on me. It peed on me, too. <laughs> oh, man, I smell bad. What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> grow up. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> oh, it smells... It, it's not going to do anything different than my crotch and feet dank ain't doing already. <laughs> I took my sock off. My feet look like they're bolting. <laughs> Good night, Kyle. What? Good night. We're heading to bed. It's like midnight, a little bit after. I had a really, really nice day. Uh, great night sitting by the fire with Kyle. Felt like old times, so. Uh, super happy. Going to bed. Kyle is here for another day or so, and then uh, he's back off to California, so. We will make the most of the rest of the trip, and I will see you guys on the next video. Or maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. Are you awake? Yeah. How'd you sleep? A plus.
Same here. Sky in the morning, Kyle. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I get something. I'm gonna take a massive piss. <laughs> oh, so much urine. What's that? So much urine. <laughs> what? Sky. What? Oh, His name was Lyle. Oh, Lyle Furley. <laughs> He had some dandruff in his hair. Oh my god, my hair is so messed up. Uh, well, that was a good sleep. I got the old tent right open now. This material is not the greatest. It's uh, a little on the heavier side. It's ripstop. It's okay. It's just, it seems to collect the... Oh my gosh, what you are doing. <laughs> it seems to collect the condensation pretty good. But you said yours has some too? Oh uh, yes. Inside, and you have really good material. Look at that pretty cool. Hokey smokey. You want to turn the camera around for the folks? Just give them a little glimpse of that camera guy. Pretty cool. Okay, set me back up here, big boy. <laughs> Anyways. What's up with my sweater on? Yeah, I just had my Mine are on my folder on my waist. I had everything on except for I just pulled my pantaloons down a touch. Not like pulling your pantaloons down a touch. Right. Can I turn this off now? No, leave it on. The uh, thank you. You can go if you don't want to yeah. stand there and watch my, me in all my glory. This is how magic happens, eh? Yeah. Like that. Remember last night you threw a, a, a toad at me? A turd? Yeah, no, a. I threw a toad. Oh yeah, that was so funny, man. I was like talking about your your toad fear, and then it was right there. It's not a toad fear I have. <laughs> I don't like them jumping on my head as I'm trying to go. To I sleep. guess it can't be a toad fear when you don't even know what a toad is, calling it a frog. I'm sorry, I failed to identify it in the middle of the thunder you, rain. Storm. You know what uh, its Latin name is? No, but I'm sure you do. Bufo americanus. Bufo, bufo. You know what? You are your. Bufo Canadian comments. <laughs> oh, the fun we had. I'm going to miss you, Kyle. Yeah. We've got to figure out what we're going to do next. Okay, what? I don't know. What's Let me know in the comments what we should do next. <laughs> <laughs> Someone writes, like, f yourself. <laughs> you got to lay on the sleeping pad to get the air out. When I went to Kyle's wedding, uh, I got to meet, uh, a couple, how long, two years ago? Uh, 2019. Yeah. I got to meet a lot of his, uh, like, family and his friends that he grew up with. And they told me a story. They told me lots of stories. It was very enlightening. And I was glad to know that I, I didn't... They liked your stories also. I know. It, it was mutual. But uh, they told me that they call him Lyle Furley. Instead of Kyle Burley, and it's stuck, and I just, I just think it's the funniest thing. I, yeah. Just pull the full, the full Furley, you know. It's, it's like my alter ego, but I'm, you know, having lots of fun. Lots of fun. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I do like that. I like it. I do prefer a freestanding tent, though. Man, what a nice day. This is perfect. From behind us, the sky's perfectly blue. Oh, look at this. We might even catch some fishies this morning. Hmm. All right. Well, making up breakfast. I've got breakfast skillet from Mountain House. It's an adventure meal. We've got shredded potatoes. Scrambled eggs with mixed pork sausage, peppers, onions. What are you working with, Joe? 
A singular oatmeal packet. I've had two. Oh, you've had two. And I also put in some chocolate au chaud or hot chocolate powder and a little bit of marshmallows got mixed in there, but that's all right. Oh, yeah. That sounds great, Joe. That was that sweet taste I just had. Mmm, that smells really good. It's like an adult version of Lucky Charms, you know? Well, you're powered up, man. Two packets of oatmeal. Where you go all day? Was that Woodland Caribou where you'd eat like one pack of oatmeal, like four raisins, and then like you'd go paddle? That was your. No, session. that was you saying that's what I did. That is what you did, though. That seems like more of an Algonquin thing. No. Three raisins. That's what you do at the meetups. It's like not bring enough food, and then yeah, people will give you food, extra food. Is that what happened? Yeah, I didn't remember that. This is pretty, um, pretty awesome as far as the weather right now. You're creeping my camera out. This guy. All right, well, where are you going? Oh, he's getting out of the way. I framed it so that you were there. Oh, okay. Well, hang on. I'll come back over here. Okay. It's really bright out here. It's very bright. Very bright. Super, super. Super sunglasses on. Sunglasses on for the final suit. Oh, yeah, cool really guys. Cool. All right, well, I think that's it. We're going to go. Kyle's got a big, long drive and then a flight. And uh, I have a family to get back to. Yep. So it was good times. It's a good trip, man. Thanks for doing the uh, round Joe Robinette. You know, yeah. local area fishing expedition well, tour. We did the California one a couple of years ago. We did. And then we did this one. Yeah. And then next year, what? I want to do a big trip. Yeah. I'd like to do like a wilderness loopy type thing. Yeah. Maybe the Wabakini. Okay. That kind of this kind of interests me. Yeah, we could definitely make that happen for sure. We could do Quetico maybe too, since you haven't done that. Yeah. The the, the maybe. fires this year were. Yeah, we'll have to see. I can fly. That's easier to get to because I can fly into Minneapolis and drive right up. Quite a mm. Maybe we can meet each other, like I said. You from the States, me from Canada. Oh, in the middle? In the middle, and then do a little trip and then back out. We could try that. All right, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Good to see Kyle again, I'm sure. I appreciate uh, you watching. I'm happy Kyle came. It's good to see you, buddy. It was very good times, man. Thanks for the support. Yeah, for sure, man. Appreciate it. All right. Until next time. We're still going to see each other, so we don't have to say goodbye to each other. Right exactly. Now. Right. Goodbye to you guys. I still have to go in a car for several hours now. Whoa! You see that freaking Loch Ness monster? It's a loon. Oh. Oh, go Pogo. See him? Californians. They sound cool, loud and annoying. The definition of cool. That's why you like me so much. <laughs> you ready, Indy? Yeah. Indy Amber. Where, where's the temple with the crystal skull? <laughs> the Holy Grail. I'm ready, man. Any of those expeditions. You heard it here first, folks. You heard it here first, folks. MBM Jones, Sam Neill, Dr. Alan Grant, Life Will Find a Way. I was just going to say, you know, my singing was so accurate there that you might get flagged for, you know, Copy playing a <laughs> copyrighted song. Oh. Sorry. That's it? It was pretty good, I thought. It was great. I think you took it and ran with it. I was happy with it, you know. I still, I didn't even know you were filming, honestly. Okay.